Okay. My name is Liran Bellanzon, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Benchsai. Over the last couple of decades, there have truly been some remarkable advancements in drug discovery. And still, unfortunately, we are losing the battle against diseases. Only 5 to 6% of new drug discovery projects actually get to clinical trials. And those projects, after you work on them for seven years and spend tens of millions of dollars on them, only 10% actually succeed in clinical trials. While we're amazing at generating a lot of information, unfortunately, we're not very good yet at generating a lot of knowledge about how disease biology actually works. And that's really the number one challenge that we're facing and the number one reason so many drugs fail in clinical trials. And if we can unlock that, we can truly transform the way things are done today. At Benchsai, our mission is to exponentially improve the speed and quality of life-saving research and development. We are rolling. Yeah, I'm rolling too, if you can do the lights. The preclinical journey in drug development and discovery is a critical part of advancing medicine. Before a drug reaches clinical trials, it has to go through years of experimentation and trial and error of work. Biology is incredibly complex. Every protein at some point is connected to another protein. There are millions and millions of experiments out there uh, that scientists have done to actually understand the different building blocks uh, that make up a disease. But there's no way to actually connect it all. So scientists have to go through all of that information to connect the dots, to understand what are those different connections through proteins and pathways that actually make up the complexity of that underlying biology. Ascend is a platform, and it is a world-leading preclinical SAS platform uh, that helps scientists end-to-end -end throughout the preclinical drug discovery process. So what we're doing now with artificial intelligence is assembling all the evidence that's ever been associated with that disease, with those genes and all those pathways, linking it together and really giving scientists for the first time a map of that underlying biology that they can most effectively test, validate, and ultimately bring those medicines closer to patients. The beauty of our approach is that we're actually mimicking the way that a scientist would actually extract the data. The first thing is that we look at the evidence first. We use our vision machine learning, we look at all components of the experiment, and we build our data from the bottom up. We're not just looking at the paper title, we're not just looking at an abstract, we're digging right into the paper. We can actually look at the scientific image, we can extract embedded entities, make the undiscoverable discoverable, we can classify the image type into the appropriate scientific application, and ensure that scientists can actually find that. Uh, so we have to make sure we're also handling the subjectivity of the scientist. We have to make sure that we're not making conclusions. We have to stay objective, stay factual. We can also turn our technology to any data, uh, whether it be text alone, image alone, public data, or even proprietary customer data. And this in itself is also very challenging uh, because it is not written like a paper. So we have to be able to extract the key insights from that data and make it searchable as well. Uh, we figured out how to do that at scale. And lastly, it's our intuitive interfaces. You don't have to be a computer scientist or an ML engineer to be able to extract the data. You can access the data that we've already curated for you uh, to be able to get the information that you need. What would normally take them weeks or months, they can now do in minutes. They can search the target, they can see the holistic view of everything that has already been studied and actually use that to generate a hypothesis they can test. They don't have to do all of the experiments. They only focus on the one or two that are gonna yield the results and enable them to say, yes, this is the target, or yes, this is the drug that's gonna actually be the one that's gonna to lead to a successful clinical outcome. AI has truly been recognized as a technology that can transform drug discovery, having $2.4 billion in 10 to 14 years to actually develop a drug and really cut that process dramatically. For the last five years, the technology underpinning Ascend has been impacting thousands of centers all over the globe with tens of thousands of scientists designing more successful experiments to yield more definitive answers a lot faster with a lot greater confidence. 
You can effectively pick the right experiment for the right project, for the right program, and best find that path that brings that asset closer to a place where it can impact the disease with clear, definitive outcomes and ultimately set that up more successfully for clinical trial. As we think about the impact artificial intelligence have across so many different mediums and industries, it will be disruptive. It will change the way we look at things. Provided it's harnessed right and, and used uh, effectively and ethically, I think it particularly for medicine. It can, it can change the world. We have to make sure that we use it in the right way. We have to make sure that we're empowering people to leverage it correctly and ultimately focus it at the hardest problems that, that impact every, every human on the planet, which is ultimately health and, and how we can cure disease. There is a lot of software investment in clinical trial, and there is a massive lack of investment within preclinical trials. And it's a bit mind-blowing that if you work at pharma and you're a salesperson, you have more access to software and tools than a life-saving scientist. I actually truly believe that we and other companies in our space are solving that because we're achieving scale and success. And I truly hope that that will bring new investment in the market and more solutions because there's hundreds of problems in the preclinical space. At Benchside, we're in the business of making impact. I'm extremely excited about the future because we truly operate in a white space and we're serving a group of people that, in, our, in my opinion, are the heroes of our society, which are scientists, and they're truly underserved with software capabilities and specifically AI capabilities. We help them do one of the most challenging work in the entire world, which is actually navigating disease biology and bringing medicine to patients.